Hello everybody. Hope you have enjoyed all of our videos on the series of Revit. Our effort is to make you aware of the latest and the updates in the Revit 2014 along with some essential tools to work in your project. Today again we have come up with an interesting topic. This is a part of a costing and estimation in the AEC industry and this is always be, this will always be an exciting uh, to know about uh, what would be the takeoffs for the different materials in the elements so our topic for the day today is the material takeoff in revit 2014 so material takeoff exactly is one of the tool or it is basically a process by which we find out the quantification of the materials as well as the costing of the materials used in the uh, Revit elements. So let's first of all uh, see an overview what uh, the materials we are talking about and how the takeoff will work in the schedule. So let's, uh, for example, we take the uh, wall over here. I select the wall. So the I can see the prop in the properties palette. The type property type selected drop down list has some basic wall generic nine inch masonry. As such, it it basically shows that it shows that the wall that I have selected is a masonry wall of nine inch. Now the, let's see the material condition of it. To go to the material condition of the selected wall, I need to go to the edit type button, and the edit type properties dialog box open. So. Here I find some something uh, called as the structural material, so I can see the masonry brick. And in the structure, now I let's say the material. So the material takeoff will exactly uh, find out the takeoff for this particular material. What is the quantity of this materials used in Revit for the wall? So I choose this button. Now you can see the. Uh, dialog box will open the material dialog uh, uh, editor will open and this is the material that I'm talking about the masonry brick now masonry brick exactly has you know uh, the graphics property and the appearance property and also there is a physical property as well as there is a thermal property so if I go for the graphical properties all about shading surface pattern cut pattern uh, uh, etc that's been basically used in the uh, while you are displaying the model in the view but when you talk about the physical property the physical property exactly shows about the physical uh, category or the physical pro uh, resemblance of the uh, property of the said object or the element now this is a uh, inside story of the material in Revit now let's see how the takeoff is performed while we work uh, uh, in a Revit project. So here we have different uh, objects like wall, railings, slabs, roofs and etc. You can see in the view. Now <coughs> uh, in this tutorial we are interested to calculate the material takeoff of all the elements used in the uh, building model. So there are uh, furniture elements, there are uh, slab elements, there are certain elements that it's not visible in the view but there are in this particular model. So uh, we will be interested in order to take a multi-category uh, um, you know uh, the uh, multi-category uh, schedule for the uh, building project. So first to start with uh, to start with the takeoff I need to go to the view tab and then uh, you can see there is basically one the create panel here I choose the schedule drop down and there is the that tool that material takeoff so why I open this material takeoff uh, choose this takeoff the dialog box new material takeoff dialog box in, is opened now uh, don't forget this one because we are working in an architecture model so the architecture checkbox should be selected from the drop down list now because it is a multi category so I name this as all elements And here, uh, I'll not forget to select the multi-category in the category list. I say OK. Uh, the next part, now see the material peak of properties dialog box is opened over here. Here, what we need to do is, uh, in the available fields area, uh, we need to select the family and type 
field. Now why I'm selecting because we're going to sort this schedule over here on the basis of the family and type. And there would be other fields that we will be taking over here but family and type would be first that I would be uh, selecting from this area. I choose the add button. The next uh, would be somewhat uh, the material area, material name and the material cost I would be interested in including in the schedule. So let's see how, where are the name of the material uh, names, material area, oh, okay I found it over here, material name I add it, material area I add it and then I add the material cost. So now I have four fields that are arranged in the schedule fields area uh, namely family and type, material name, material area and material cost. The next part would be I'll to choose the calculated value button. Now why I am doing it because I want to uh, get a formula over here uh, for the item cost for the uh, particular material. Let's say I want to include it into the uh, 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 schedules that I'm creating for the takeoff. So I name it as item cost for material. So this will be the header. Uh, for the formula I am interested to take two fields over here. One is the material area. So I'm going to put an operator over here that is a multiplier operator and then the next field that I would be taking is the material cost. In the material cost, basically the cost of the material, uh, the, the this parameter shows the cost of the material in uh, used in the particular building element. Now for the equation, I put a div sign over here, or the division sign and then I divide this entirely by 1 SF. So this is the formula. Uh, okay, now I have now five fields in the schedule. The family and type, material name, material area, material cost and item cost for material that I have newly created. The next thing that I would like to do would be in order to sort the uh, fields. So for that I will choose the sorting group tab. Now, so I would be interested to sort this particular schedule by name. So let's say if I sort by name, I select this drop down, I say sort by name. So material name is there and over here I will select the header, I will select the footer and I will select the blank line check boxes. Next is then by sort by material name and then by family name and, and type. That means family and type. So first primary would be sort by material name and then by family and type. So it's a sub categorization of in the schedule. You will see how it happens. So next uh, I would be doing the formatting fields over here. Uh, I, I, I want to format the entire uh, schedule over here. So for the formatting I need to go to the formatting tab and in the formatting tab I will select the material cost. Now in the material cost I will align it right. Okay. And uh, I can do it for the others also but uh, it's uh, I can go for the material item cost, item cost for material. I can I can align it right. So material cost I again select it. I go to the field format. Okay. Now in the material cost, let's uh, again I select the material cost field. Then I select the, I can see the alignment is right. I will go for the field format. I want to change the formatting. I will not go for the project setting. I will clear this checkbox. And the next, what I'm going to do is, I want to put a unit symbol over here. Let's, uh, uh, I want to put the unit symbol over here. I want to take the dollar as a symbol. So this is how I would be going for the other field also, the item cost. I'm going to change the field format. I'm going to remove the default setting and then here I'm going to take the currency and then I'm going to take dollar. So this is uh, I will say the use digit grouping. If I have not done it for the 
material cost I will do it here I will use the digit grouping so it will group the digits as per my requirement so last but not the least I have to go for the select the item cost for material again and say calculate totals which will give you the total calculation takeoff for the material item cost and for the material area also I would to have the total so I will say calculate total don't forget for item cost for material to select the calculate totals checkbox for the material area the calculate total checkbox now I will, can see the schedule created uh, now let's scroll and see how it, it, it's working I have cabinets in the project now these are the types of cabinet uh, one thing I can do also do is I can change the type from here also anyway that's not the uh, purpose of the discussion is the point over here I'm trying to focus more on the cabinets I have 10 cabinets the name of the materials in the cabinets is cabinets and for all the cabinets I can see each cabinets the area of the material is displayed over here so how I mean see the cabinet handles so how organized is Revit you can see from here it's, it's the power of Revit that has basically enabled us to get such a beautiful schedule where we can see the takeoffs for the various materials in the project so I'll conclude uh, my tutorial here hope you have enjoyed this wonderful tutorial simple and crisp and I hope you can execute this particular tool in your projects thank you take care goodbye